What is up in this bitches? It is me, Nathan, back again with another video. Today we are with Trisha and our new guest, new in this picture, Mikey. What up, what up? So today we have a special episode. We are in San Mateo yet again. So today we're going to be filming a lunch or brunch at Gao. It is a Vietnamese restaurant featuring very, very traditional Vietnamese food. And I'm excited for this one because all the dishes are beautiful. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe, like the channel, like the video, and uh, share with your friends because we're gonna get some food. Alright guys, so we just ordered, we got some bag pots, we're going to show you what that is, we got some filet mignon pho, we also got some lobster garlic noodles, um, crab, we also got crab which is a Vietnamese udon, and we'll show you what that is, a lot of foreign names, but uh, you will not, it will, it will not be foreign for you any longer. <laughs> How do you feel, Mikey? I'm just, uh, just really hungry. Oh, no. I'm just really hungry. I'm ready to eat. Yeah. So we're gonna fill up the table and then bring you guys back. Thank you. All right, guys. This is beef carpaccio. It's raw meat and lime juice, man. When's the last time you had this? The last time we were here. <laughs> yeah. All right, go for it, man. All right. So how do you how do you do? I mean, you could always crack the egg if you want, um, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna straight up try a raw, raw piece. Yeah, I'm gonna add some of this onions, Oops. a little bit of green. So it's beef, right? Yeah, it's beef. Look at that right there. Yeah, raw meat. Gonna get some worms, you know? Some, <laughs> some diseases when you eat this shit. No, I'm just fine. <laughs> oh, so good. Excellent. Is it zingy? It's amazing. That tastes like freedom, man. It's making me hungry. I'm gonna grab it from this side, though. What's the sauce around it? The uh sauce? -oh. oh, fish sauce. Fish sauce? Oh yeah, that is really good. It's like the, the crunch of the, the shallot. Yeah. That's really good. It's perfect portions of everything. It, it has to be thick. Yeah. yeah, it has to be thick. I had carpaccio somewhere else. It was thick slices. It was like mad. I mean, it was still it was still good, you know. Yeah, but, really good. but this is it's way better, you know. And the quality of the meat, dude, is just way better. If you get like a jalapeno piece of it, I feel like it's a lot Yes. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. I, I like the color of the It's really fresh. Has a nice green, green feel. Nice and cold. But um, yeah, it tastes good. You guys have uh, have ever had beef tartare? Pretty much it tastes like that. But with really? Like fish sauce. Yeah, with fish sauce. fish sauce. Mild saltiness, but a really fresh taste. Very That's what I like. I like the saltiness. Yeah. That's what I like. All right, guys. So that was the first appetizer. We're gonna come back. Uh, I think the next thing is gonna be the ban pot. Okay, guys. The ban pot has arrived. We're gonna go ahead and try it out. So with these, they're like little tiny pancakes with a shrimp on top, turmeric pancakes with a shrimp on top, green onions, and uh, I'll show you guys how to eat this right now. Yeah, if you guys are familiar with uh, bánh xèo, the Vietnamese crepe, these are like little bite-sized ones, yeah. So, I'm gonna just show you guys how to eat it first. So then you pretty much grab one of those, grab one of these, dip this in the sauce, Get a little bit of uh, pickled radish and yeah, this is daikon and carrot, yeah. so it's been like um, pickled. And then this is a lettuce wrap. This is cilantro. This is nook mao. And then the reason why it's yellow is because there's turmeric in there. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it out exactly how I explained. I'm getting the bangkok. This is 
is what it looks like. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the look mom, the fish sauce, the dip peach, it in. The peach sauce. Then I'm going to get a little bit of the carrot. Then I'm going to get a lettuce leaf. <coughs> and if you guys don't know, let me give you this expert tip that I learned for Asian cuisine, alright? Might not work completely with this one, but I'm gonna try. It's kind of a hard leaf, so we'll see. Instead of wrapping it, go like this. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work. That is such a helpful Thanks, brother. Are you waiting for one more? Yeah, I think one more, yeah. That's so good. The shrimp is nice and fresh, nicely seasoned. Got the freshness of the lettuce leaf. That turmeric pancake in the bottom is super crispy. Oh man, this is so good. I'm gonna keep on eating it. Have you ever had these? Yeah, dude, those are hella good, dude. Yeah, that's fire right there. Oh yeah, that's mine. I'll take it on this side. Yeah. Oh, wow, dude. Thank you. My god. Dude, look at the color on that, man. Color, color means flavor, dude. You know what I mean? There's yeah, flavor in that color in there. That is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. So this right here is the shrimp and garlic noodle. Sixty-eight dollars for this. But we go eat today. Do you want to try one of those? Yeah, I'll try one. Okay. By all means, man. We got another one. Actually, you can get a lettuce leaf too. Do the wrap. I like it raw too. A little fish sauce. Mm. Oh yeah. That's hella good. I don't even like seafood like that. That's hella good. Perfect portion of everything. Mm. Alright, Mikey, so what'd you get? I got the, um, the filet mignon pho. This is what I always get because for some reason I'm always hungover when I come here. So this right here is. For some reason? For, some, for whatever reason, <laughs> I'm always hungover when I come here. So always gotta get the pho. The broth is so clean. So clean. And the meat is just high quality. Everything is just. Like I said, everything here in Gao is. It's. I don't know. I just they just do, they just do shit right here. They do shit right here, like straight up. This is the spot to go. Like this is the spot to go. All right, let's see. Let's see how you can talk to yours. Okay. Uh, Still gotta eat this bad boy. boy drop a drop a couple jalapenos in there. Uh, we're gonna squeeze some lime. Oh, yeah. And you know, typically when people go to pho places, they typically dip the sriracha, they pour some sriracha in there or whatever. The broth is so good, you don't need it. It's good for the side on the meat, you know? So that's how good the broth is. We're just gonna let that cook a little bit. And they do different style noodles. Ooh, is that the chubby one? No. This is, they don't use the regular straight noodles, they use these noodles. I kind of wish they had the straight noodles, but to be honest, like it kind of brings like a different taste to it. You know what I mean? So 
either way, it's far. It's it's worth twenty some bucks. You know what I mean? It's worth the twenty some bucks. Damn, that doesn't count. I wish I got that. I'm honestly, just looking at that. Oh my god. Thank what you. and what is that? Mean? This is the crab hanpan, so it's like a Vietnamese udon noodle dish. So it has some pork belly, it has a filling, it has like bits and pieces of like crab meat, some shallots, some veggies, some potato. And it's in a in a clear bra. My mom used to make this so much, and so when I saw it on the menu, I was like, I need to have some. Oh yeah. So while you uh, while you let that cook in a little bit more, we're cutting back to Mikey. Mikey's traditional Mikey. pop. My hangover too, right here. Look at that. Yep, look at that. She's oh man. Mm. Simply perfection. Simply perfection. And then on the side, you got some sriracha and hoisin. Yes. Yes. That's for the meat. Get a little bit more. No. Oh. Still got a little Bangkok right here. We are eating today. We'll get some more Bangkok. This, by the way, this is our second order of the Bangkok. Just because it's so good. So why is it like... So why is it called the Bangkok if it's this, but that's also called Bangkok? K O. Got it. Okay. So can be used to subscribe like a lot of things, like the noodles, the sandwich, and things like that. Okay. Yeah, but okay. there's like a way for you to differentiate, like an actual sandwich and then like a noodle soup. Okay. Because yeah. I was like, I was really confused. I was like, they're the same thing. They're called the same thing. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Ban can is like a udon dish. Gotcha. This one is an actual like piece. Okay, guys. I'm gonna try to put the camera down so I can crack this lobster and get a little bit of the garlic noodles in it. Okay. Alright guys, sorry. Sorry about that. Welcome back. <laughs> Alright guys, we're just gonna go straight in. And get some of the noodles. There's some sauce on the side right here. Mm -hmm. Such a clean broth, dude. Oh, the garlic noodles are fire, dude. The residual sauce and the flavor from the lobster is seeping into the noodles. So it's like it's lobster flavor yeah. garlic noodles. It's, it's just fire. Oh. I almost don't want to eat it all. You want to save it forever? I want to savor it. Let's see. It's this sauce on the side here. It's like essence of lobster. Go in on the sponsor now. I'm gonna use my hands. Like a cracker. Huh? Oh, the cracker? Let me just get, get this tail action. Let me get this tail action. Oh, it's smoky too. Yeah. Oh, um, go ahead, Charlie. Huh? Try a little bit of noodle. Yeah. Get, get some of that saucy, saucy noodle. Okay. Yeah. Right. Ah, no! It fell out of my mouth. Ooh. Yes. Oh. Ooh. That's so good. <laughs> That's so good. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to take a mental note of what this tastes like. It's so good. Wanna try some like this? Um I don't wanna dip my spoon in there. Okay. I just wanna try the broth. Yeah, broth and then crab and noodle. Oh, yeah. It's uh, very chewy. Oh no, it's good. No, it's cool. I got it's cool. I'll get it after. The lobster is so sweet. Dude, teamwork makes the dream work, baby. It oh no. A, it has a nice smoky flavor. Is it a jar? Wow. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty hot. 
Yeah, that is all good. It's too good. You want to try some? It's too good for its own good. I don't even like seafood like that. Like in seafood, like wow, then here it's good. Alright, I'm gonna try the ban pan. Yeah, Yeah, that looks really good. So this looks like a pho noodle almost with some quail eggs. Oh, wow. Um, I'm not too sure what that is. It's a quail egg, pork belly. Oh, pork belly. And veggie soft shell crab. Ooh, and a soft shell crab. I, I think next time, I feel like you could add it, right, to every dish if you want to add quail eggs, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that next time. You quail eggs are hell good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice, nice sauce. As you can see, it's not too oily, you know what I mean? That's, it's like a, that's what you know a high quality noodle is about, you know? Not too much oil. Cheers. Ooh. Mm. Those noodles are, are really, really soft. Almost like, felt like fresh boba for a second. <clears throat> I'm gonna try a little bit of the soft shell crab. Just a little bit. Oh wow, that's crab. Yeah, soft shell crab. Gonna try some of this soft shell crab right here. Oh wow. Crispy crab. Can I try that? Um, all right, I'll try a piece. Go for it. I'm not hella big on crab, but just explore your options, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. go ahead. Oh. You can eat the whole thing. Yeah. Try the soft shell crab. Oh. No. I don't like seafood like that, but. That's hell good. <laughs> this, this is next level. That's hell good. I'm so glad we waited for this. Mm. Yeah, the noodles are nice and soft on this. No strings, were they? I like that a lot. Really fresh. Yeah, you don't normally see this in uh, other Vietnamese restaurants. Yeah. Yeah, see, they, they do everything so different here, but. They do. They bring out other Vietnamese dishes that yeah. you, not, you normally don't see, which is great. Yeah. Because it's actually worth the money because it tastes real. Good. So does it does it make you feel like you're at home a little bit? A little bit, <laughs> but my mom never made it with crabs. She always made it with pork. No. Yeah. But it is really good. The next time I'm getting a uh, bun reel, which is the crab meat and tomato base. Man, that is so good. It has a nice clean pho, but um, there's a little bit of like chili oil in it, so it's slightly spicy. So now it's my favorite part of the video guys we're gonna do a final review in a second but my favorite part of the video is finishing the rest of the food that we got at full force <laughs> so we'll be back I'm almost done with this lobster but it just keeps on impressing me Dude, check this lo out it looks good mutilated like that we're probably pissing off a whole bunch of vegans I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this so we're almost done but so I wanted to guys show you the true essence of the lobster and how much there was left in there. I'm gonna mix that with the lobster noodle. Thank you. Oh. So. Full at last. Full at last. Thank God Almighty, we are full, full at last. last. <laughs> that was so good. I'm I'm legitly sad that it's over. But I can genuinely say with 100% of my heart right now that that was the best lobster I've ever had in my life. And I've had a pretty good amount of lobsters, but that one just hit on so many levels. It had good levels of fat in between, in the claw, there was little chunks of fat. The essence of it, you know what I mean? It was, uh, it was so good, so good. And those garlic noodles were so on point. Oh my gosh, I'm so upset that it's over, but there's a good and bad thing about that because the good thing is I love it and I will have it again. The bad thing is is that it's so expensive and I'm gonna have it again. So, $68. Yeah, it was $68 for that dish. I know it's crazy. I know it's a crazy amount, but I technically got it on accident because I thought that the lobster noodles was the cheaper one that didn't give me the whole lobster. I thought it was just like garlic noodles with like, you know, lobster pieces or whatever. But turns out I got the one of their staple foods and uh, I regret none of it. 
I am so glad that I had that actually. 10 out of 10. Lobster was really good and very sweet, but also like charred perfectly. <laughs> yeah, it was charred perfectly. So it was actually charred and then um, pan seared inside of its own sauce with the garlic oh. noodles. It was so good. It was so good. And then those ban cots, those ban cots were on point. How'd you like your meal? Dude, I'm stuffed, dude. But, you know. Any surprises? Any uh, uh, nah. recommendations? What for? Uh, Just like in general. Certain di oh, wait, 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 wait. What are you talking about? Like, do you have any recommendations on the dish? On the. On the, um, on the on your for, dish for the people that are like you know first timers gonna try this place out beef carpaccio mm. beef carpaccio and then that one's the raw meat right yeah oh yeah you know what I mean the only time you can actually eat it recommendations Ooh. everything I'm getting me <laughs> um I would say like try the pho that's like a really good like number one staple food try the button cock one of my favorites. If you have button sale before, it's very similar. You can eat anything. You can yeah. just close your eyes and pick some random shit on the thing, and it's gonna be good. Yeah, <laughs> but if you're not daring it for like the beef, beef carbaccio, try the uh, the fish sauce wings. Those are really good. Oh yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, yeah. Fish, fish sauce, sauce wings. wings. Yeah. So by popular demand, we are we were asked to recommend some food at the end of our videos. So, recommended food for me would definitely be that lobster garlic noodle, $68, but let me tell you, it is worth it. If you're Asian, if you're Vietnamese, you will appreciate it so much. Uh, Recommend One recommendation. Score, right? oh, okay. One recommendation out of everything. Ooh. I think for appetizers, like Bangkok for sure. That's one of my favorites. Oh yeah, the Bangkok. And then for you? Now you know what? With your uh, coffee stain shirt. Coffee stain shirt. <laughs> you know what? Hey. I, I forgot all about this when I started eating. Uh, you well, know what? Makes... I was doing so well. <laughs> so you know how messy my, my meal got. I was doing so well to not get anything on my pants. But right at the very last second, Trisha tried to feed me, uh, you know, a little scoop of her soup. And then it spilled on my khakis, man. <laughs> I was doing so well. Technically, I didn't get it, so whatever. Oh yeah. All right, guys. That is it for Gao Vietnamese cuisine. If five you guys, out of five. Have, if you guys haven't already, yeah, five out of five. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe, like the channel, like the video, and share with your friends so we can keep on growing. Turn on what the he bell said. Yeah. yeah. So we were in this bitch, and now we out this bitch.